got so much damn work to do. I've been procrastinating like I've done the entire 33 years that I've been on Earth. Shit. To be as small as I am, figure, I procrastinated my own damn birth. Came out weighing like almost 10 pounds. And I got a baby girl that's the same way. <clears throat> I've dealt with more stuff in my life than what anybody should ever have to deal with and what most people never even have to see a fraction of percentage. I can't see myself being okay with everything, the way society has shifted. I can't see being okay with it even if I was not a Marine Corps veteran. But the fact that back in December of 2007, I wrote a blank check to our government for an amount up to and including my life to uphold and defend the Constitution of the United States of America against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And what we have going on is domestic terrorism. The crazy left are trying to demonize constitutional activity while falling back on the Constitution only when it fits them, only when it's, it's something that would play in their advantage. And here's an example for you. Abortion. They claim my body, my right. You, you say it's your privilege, it's your right to have an abortion. Well, then my body, my right should also apply to the vaccine and mask. See, the biggest problem that I've seen in all this is the complete inequality. Our court system lacks equality. There's none. Our law enforcement lacks equality. There's none. What it is, it's different strokes for different folks. I mean, it's, it's preferential treatment. It amounts to preferential prosecution. In turn, which leads to prosecutorial misconduct. And that's what creates your dragnet. And that's why this thing has fanned out the way it has. Because see, it started with one person. And one person got the help of multiple people to effectively pull off the stunt the magnitude and size of what this one county did over three years ago now. And it really took the help of quite a few. And I think that's what they realized. It, it, at first, something that, that what these individuals were trying to do, I don't think they ever thought that it would involve, it would wind up spider webbing to as many people, agencies, courts, judges, it's in every stage, basically, of society. And I've talked about this. You know, my fight is against corruption. Government corruption. I believe in, you know, I believe in limiting the power and the scope of the government. I believe the state has way too much power. And I believe they've demonstrated that 
And now the question becomes how much, you know, where's enough enough till the federal government intervenes? I believe in keeping a small government. I believe people can maintain, for the most part, I believe in self-policing. However, when you have an army of thugs hiding behind badges, cowards, that are trying to continuously plot to frame an already innocent person, somebody that was innocent and had his life destroyed, but for the simple fact that he is trying to vindicate himself, bring the truly guilty parties to justice. Well, that person may be that supervisor, maybe a supervisor at work. It may be a major in a local sheriff's department. Could even be the sheriff himself. See, I don't know exactly how far, how deep this spider web has truly gotten. But here's what I do know. I know it extremely involves the Lafayette County Sheriff's Department. <laughs> and I wanted to say that most of the officers there are great, good law-abiding, constitutional-abiding, and protecting officers. And I'm starting to think that I, I'm going to have to rescind that. You know, I know that law enforcement has... I'm not against law enforcement, and that's what I don't. I guess enough of them don't realize. I'm against corrupt law enforcement, corrupt sons of bitches, and I understand back the blue. They're gonna protect their own, but to what extent? When you took an oath, when you made a lifetime vow to protect and defend the Constitution, our supreme law of the land. And for those that go against that, we're going to meet. I can guarantee you, we're going to meet. I won't be harassed and intimidated away, threatened. I'm determined. I'll stand my ground 100%. So if you're going against the Constitution, if you're trying to take down an innocent man to protect your own ass or your supervisor's ass or somebody else from their own poor decisions and misdeeds, you'll wind up falling with the rest. Matt Reardon, The Oxford Outlaw.